Hello, everyone. I'm Jari Bolander from Lab Sensor Solutions. We're a healthcare sensor as a service platform that helps our customers re meet regulatory requirements, reduce costs, and save lives. I'd like you to introduce you to my wife, Jane. She has leukemia. She's had multiple rounds of chemo and gets her blood drawn almost daily. And sometimes those blood samples get lost or spoiled. This could happen to any one of us. 70% of, of a diagnosis relies on a blood tube. The number three cause of death in the US is preventable medical errors. And the number one cause of all those tests going bad is temperature and transportation issues. This is a $17 billion per year problem, and that does not include the human cost. Labs spend billions of dollars on automated equipment, yet they don't spend very much transporting your sample to the lab. That's where we come in. Our patent-pending, mobile-enabled system monitors the temperature and location of perishable items so they don't spoil. We utilize Bluetooth low-energy sensors, like this one, smartphones, and cloud-based analytics to make it easy for our customers to install and use. And here's an example of the rich data set that we have. This is all in real time and allows managers and supervisors to figure out what's going on. Our competitors mostly sell components to the marketplace. No one truly has a real-time solution for the healthcare industry. Our business model is super simple. We charge $25 per sensor per month, and we have over 85% gross margin. There is a massive disruption going on in the healthcare industry, and it's called the Affordable Care Act. Right now, people are paid for volume and not value, and that's going to change. By 2018, 90% of all reimbursement is going to be value-based, which means that people are now going to be held responsible for spoiled samples. Our traction to date has been great. We have 16 customers in active field trials. Four weeks ago, we landed the largest HMO in Northern California to instrument their regional lab, and more deals keep coming. Besides our direct sales effort, we have a huge value-added reseller network, and we're integrating with LIS partners that open up hundreds of additional customers. Our team has been in this industry for eight years. We know a thing or two about healthcare. And the one thing that we know for sure is that hospitals do not like to input infrastructure. They don't like to install it at all. That's why when we formed Lab Sensor Solutions, we decided to use existing mobile technology and leverage our huge knowledge base in the industry. About Jane. Jane's 64 days after a bone marrow transplant and is doing great. So if you're passionate about fixing health care and helping people like Jane, then come talk to us. Thanks for your time. All right, great job, judges. Is there anything about the core technology that restricts it to only being useful in medical context? Uh, no. No, it does not. Uh, we've actually had other uh, markets like perishable goods, um, food. Uh, one guys were like, hey, can you like, track our organic produce or maybe some ice cream in China? But you know, um, we've all had people with rare wine. Does anyone drink wine? So they've been uh, asking about that. So it does not limit it to healthcare. We, we just feel that. Uh, we have a lot of experience in healthcare, and we needed a beachhead, and that's where we're gonna gonna start for now. Is there a lot of granular data that's really necessary in this market beyond like it went below this temperature, so it was probably spoiled, or like is is much more detailed data actually that useful? Yeah, we want to see trends. So, for example, we have a customer in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and when they start in the beginning of the day, it could be really cold. And as they go along their day, that could go 90, 100 degrees. We want to know that they have enough coolant in the cooler so that during those times, the samples won't spoil. So we measure and predict, oh, you're going to run out of coolant. Go back and get more coolant. And coolant's usually dry ice or blue ice or stuff like that. So the granularity and the real-time nature of the data allows them to fix things before things spoil. Th these, things, these blood tubes spoil. Your blood tube spoils. That's hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for you to come back, get pricked again. It's a mess. So we want to predict it, make sure it doesn't happen, so that every single diagnosis is correct, 
because it, it certainly can, uh, can go wrong. I mean, it's gone wrong for my wife, unfortunately. Got time for one more question. Uh, I may have missed this, and apologies if I did. Okay. What, what are the boundaries of the service model? In other words, who, who does the monitoring, the you know, takeaways, the analysis? Is that part of what you do? Yeah, we, well? we have a cloud-based analytics engine. We provide alerts through email and text messaging and allow reporting and auditing. One of the big things in this marketplace is what's called validation of the process and auditing. Um, so a lot of the regulators, the, what's called the College of American Pathologists and the Joint Commission, uh, this is not FDA regulated, just to let you know. Um, they want to see this sort of data to make sure that processes are validated and, and we validate them in real time. So. All right, great job, Lab Sensor Thank you Solutions. very much.